In this video, I'm going to show you how to use print and cut to use your cutting machine to very accurately cut out shapes from photographs or images from the internet. And so what I've done to get started is I've just opened up a design that I prepared for one of my classes. And what it is, it's a photograph of the MC15000 and I thought it would be fun to cut that out and have like a little miniature MC15000 that you could, you know, paste it to your computer monitor or put it on your bathroom mirror and have it in your wish list, you know, for your new embroidery machine. And what I did was I drew, I used the drawing tool to draw the outline around. So I just loaded up a photograph. I started a new design and used the photograph of the MC15000 as my backdrop. And I zoomed in, you know, got closer. And I took my drawing tool and I literally drew a line around the photograph where I would like it to cut. And so it was up to me to decide exactly how detail they wanted to get around the needle and whatnot. So I kind of left a little bit of paper in between there. You'll see that. But that's the idea. I, I drew this line. And of course, that's all there really needs to be. Once I've drawn that shape, then I know, and if you look at that, I can select it. It's assigned with the cut technique. And of course, you could then send it to your cutter. So you would say file, and you would say export to cutters and then you would choose the style of cutter that you have. I have the artistic edge and so I'll go ahead and connect to my artistic edge. Now I have the little window now that allows me to interact with the artistic edge and I don't simply want to cut out the shape of the machine. I want to use the wizard for print and cut. So I'm just going to click on print and cut and it opens up a special little sort of design window. And in the, this case, you can read through the steps, but the first step is to print the picture out. And so if I click on print, it brings it up. And again, my thing's kind of hanging off the screen a little bit. But what you'll see is, um, I'll just move this over so you can see it all properly, sorry. All right, so it shows me what my page is going to look like. And I've got the picture of the machine is there, as well as you can see that it's got um, a crop mark for number one, point number two, and point number three. And so what that means is I've got um, this to print. So I would say print OK right now, and it would print out this page with the photograph and these crop marks all on one page. And of course, it's the actual size. It's exactly the same size as you know what we're going to cut out. And so you would say OK. Now it will bring me to the rest of the print and cut sort of window where I first of all I need to say next. And what happens is it aligns to the first calibration point. And that's where now of course I would have taken my page that I printed and put it on my cutting mat and loaded it and then I would make sure that the alignment laser was set right over top of the first of those alignment marks that were on that page and if it wasn't I could use these little arrows to nudge my machine until you know and move it until it was just in place and when I got the first alignment mark where it needed to be I would say next so now the you know machine has moved over to the second alignment mark and if it's perfect I can say next if it's not I mean you need to nudge it you know and move it wherever it needs to be and when I've got it to where I want it to be then I say next and again it moves to the third alignment mark and again if it if now, if everything's perfect, you push cut. If not, you can just nudge it again if need be. But by the time it's done alignment point one and alignment point two, alignment point three is usually perfect. And then you just simply say cut. And it goes ahead and it cuts out the shape that you've sent to your machine. And, and it's you know now cutting out the exact little photograph that we printed and cut around. So it's really kind of as easy as that. It's extremely accurate. And then just to show you the photograph of how cool it is, when I was done, I have my own little MC15000 sitting here attached to my monitor. And so that is the feature called print and cut. And it really has tons of creative possibilities.